Hello everyone and welcome to Skill Capped. I'm Notorious Dub and with all the competitive games and tournaments going on recently, we've seen a big shift in the meta from the dreaded double and triple duelist to sentinels and controllers shifting heavily into the meta and a good killjoy absolutely tops the list of value for solo queue sentinels. With swinging off of her turret's contact for free kills, she has a ton of kill pressure on defense, but her post-plant potential on attacker side is where she really shines. So consider this your go-to for post-plant nano swarm lineups on every single map. Now let's start off with A side on Ascent, because Ascent is easily one of Killjoy's best maps, if not the best, and boasts her highest pick rate of any map so far. So to start this off, you have two standard plants on Ascent in front of dice and in front of generator near the door because they are the safest ones to get down. Starting off with dice, take yourself all the way back to a safe spot in A main beside the double boxes. Tuck yourself in the corner and aim at the top left corner of the building you see above the threshold to A main. With a quick jump throw, the nano swarm lands just to the right of dice and covers the entire plant location and defuse area. And then for generator to make it easy, go back to the same spot you threw the first one from. And here, keep your eye on the top rivet of the electrical wire. And we're gonna use our HUD for a few lineups in this guy and this one it's going to be the thread that hangs off the furthest right corner of the health bar on the left and by lining up that farthest right edge with the top of the rivet with a standard left click your orb lands perfectly to stop the defuse on default plant of generator with a pretty quick throw time as well and moving on to b side there's one default plant that everyone uses and that's behind triple box right in the center of sight so for the first lineup, a ton of people like to tuck into B main, and there's a perfect lineup for that. Simply tuck yourself to where there's a tiny gap that you can see through, and you're going to aim at the highest box on the ventilation system in the back on the wall. And a quick left click from here drops the nano swarm perfectly in the plant location to stop the defuse. And then a much safer lineup for when you really want to lock it down on post plant, maybe you have a lot of teammates alive. Take yourself all the way back to the concession stand outside of B main and aim your right side of your health bar HUD line, just again, right at the top left corner of the same ventilation box that you used for the last lineup. And a basic left click once again drops the nano swarm perfectly to stop the defuse. But before we move on, we have created a Discord channel for you guys to create a space for our community to chat and improve together, as well as allow us to connect with and check on the community. So check out the Discord channel below to meet and talk with other people wanting to improve just like yourself, and I'll see you there. Hey guys, uh, it's Teets. Uh, no, I didn't kidnap Notorious Dub or anything. It's just that this video was filmed before the release of Fracture. So very quickly, I'm going to show you some kill jail items for this map. So for A site, there's a couple different default plant spots that you can plant on. Behind this pillar is one, deep in this cubby, and even on top of site if you're feeling a little frisky. And I'm going to show you lineups for all three. So these black dots on this wall are going to be really important. So back up to this corner, line up that black dot in between your UI like this and left click. And this should force anyone behind that pillar to swing you. Now, if your teammates planted deep into that pocket, you can throw this lineup. Just get into that same corner, line up that dot in the middle of your UI like this and left click. And honestly, this covers most of the bottom of the site. Lastly, if your teammates decided to plant on top of the site, just come into this corner again, line up this dot in the middle of UI one more time, left click, and now anyone trying to defuse up there is pretty screwed and basically has to jump off. Now for B-Site, you want to be throwing these from Arcade, as lineups from Remain are quite harder to hit. From Arcade, get into this corner, and make sure you're crouching so that you're hiding behind this box and nobody from Site can see you. Line up the UI of your turret against this pole like so, and left click, and that'll land on triple. And for Cubby, line up the lock on your ultimate with this leaf in the background here, and there you go. These two lineups are going to be for the two default plant spots. Okay, back to Notorious Dub for your regularly scheduled broadcast. And then we have Bind as Killjoy's second best map statistically. And starting off with a side, the default plant location is right beside the cargo truck outside of U-Haul. This is the one everyone uses. And for that, take yourself all the way back on top of the barrel outside of the building on the A side entrance to short. From here, aim right in the center of the corner of the ledge that sticks off the top, and the top right of the dark rectangle in the center of the solar panel. Aim directly in the center of a straight line coming off of both of those points, and jump throw for a perfect nano swarm that covers the entire plant location. And for the other spots you want to throw this from, Killjoys love to play in showers, and a quick line up to throw from this position is to line yourself up with the far back left corner of the salmon colored rug. From here, aim at the top protruding right angle, crouch, and simply left click. With that, a relatively quick landing nano swarm to stop the post plant drops to stall time before you have to peek. And then for B side, we have one standard post plant. It's on the left side of the box protruding from the tube. And for this, drop all the way back to the rock that sticks out of the wall past the protruding wall of B long, so you're completely safe from a peek. 
From there, aim at the top right corner of the ledge in between the solar panels above you and jump throw so you have a perfect nano swarm that does take a bit of time to travel, but lands perfectly to stop the defuse and forces the enemy team towards backside so they can't actually peek you. And then a very quick lineup you can throw on the fly in case you want to play in hookah. We have a quick one to stop the defuse when you hear the tap. Just sit back in the entrance way there where there is a tiny gap with your back against the wall. Wait for the tap and aim your crosshair at the top of the box. And with a throw here, you have a very fast landing nano swarm that actually covers a ton of area. And next up, we have Haven. This is Killjoy's best attacking map with a super high win rate compared to our other maps. And starting with A site, pretty much the only plant people use is right in the middle of default box. And for this lineup, take yourself all the way back to long. Tug yourself in the corner of the concrete block right outside, and you're going to be aiming right in the center of the two straps in the line where the top cinder block meets the second one. With a left click here, you have a pretty fast landing down a swarm that drops in perfectly. And then for a quick on the fly lineup from long, you can throw it from anywhere past the stairs. Just make sure you're running and aim right at the edge of the roof above the gray discolored brick patch at the entrance to site. And a left click here gives you a very fast nano swarm that stops the defuse without you having to peek yet. And then we have B bomb site. There are three Three basic plant spots, tucked left cubby, center in front of the box, and tucked right cubby. Start by standing in front of the furthest left drain pipe if you're looking at them. And for these lineups, you're going to be using the top of the building that's in B-bomb site. For the left cubby, just aim for the left railing up top, and for the center, aim for the center railing. Easy enough. And for both of these lineups, use the top right corner of the left mountain in the background for the vertical height that you need to be looking at. To execute this, just simply walk forward until you hear your footsteps so you know you're at max speed. I usually wait until I hear a couple. And you have two perfect lineups for the first two locations. And for the right cubby, stand on the far right drain pipe instead whenever you're looking at them and aim in the center of the middle and right railing. And same procedure, run until you hear your footsteps so you know that you're at full speed and throw. And with these lineups, you have three perfect nano swarms that cover their plant locations. And then finally for Haven, we have Seasite. And for this, there are two standard plant spots. First, we have the most common to outside of the left of the default box so you can see it from long and tucked in on default. And for these lineups, we're throwing them both from the right side of long. For the first one that's planted for long run all the way to the back corner of long and aim up the mountains in the back to aim at the top left corner of the second lowest pillar of the mountain and left click and for default simply tuck yourself into the wall and walk forward until you see the top left of the right pillar cluster being just to the right of the wall in front of you that way you don't hit that wall with your nano swarm and just walk forward and throw you don't have to be full speed for this one with both of these nano swarms you have two perfect mollies that cover the entirety of the diffuse locations and they force the enemy to walk through a ton of nano swarm cover if they want to push down long and next up we have split this one's essentially tied for second best map with bind with exactly the same win percentage overall and only a slightly lower pick percentage. Starting with A side, the default plant you're going to be working with is tucked on the back left side of site up against the wall of the pillar that's on the site. And for this, you're going to want to be playing A main. So sit back near the planter just outside of A main, tuck yourself in the corner, and aim up where the leaves overlap with the outer edge of the light bar. Then you're going to move your crosshair to the left to be in line vertically with the protruding corner of the left of the light bar. And with a jump throw, you have a nano swarm that drops right on the plant location and covers a ton of area. But of course, this is a easy lineup to adjust, so you can aim it a little bit higher if your teammates decide to plant more towards the opening, where most people plant closer to elbow. And second, for A side, we have an on the fly lineup for when your team is safe enough on the plant to plant for heaven. Tuck yourself in the corner and aim at the right side of the boxes in heaven, and aim at the right face of the metal band on top of the pillar in sight. With that throw, the Neto Swarm will bounce right onto the bomb location and stop the defuse without you ever having to peek, basically guaranteeing that you win those late round 1v1 scenarios whenever you get there. And then of course we have B site. And lineups for this spot are very difficult to find, so take yourself all the way back to B main and tuck yourself in the corner of the back of the junk pile. Aim at the top of the connection between the two pipes and line the left edge of your right HUD thread up with that location. From here, when you jump throw, you have a molly that lands right in the crack of the stairs, and it actually covers both plant locations on plateau and tucked into the box. What more could you possibly want? And moving on, we have Icebox, where Killjoy has similar win percentages as other maps, but it does start to have a little bit lower of a pick rate, so it's still a great map for her. And for post planning on a bomb site, you have two default plants. One, which is tucked in beside nest. For this one, just jump on the highest point you can reach on the boxes outside of rafters and aim at the right corner of the light fixture all the way up at top past your nest. 
And a basic left click from here sends the Nano Swarm flying to default to fully stop the defuse and prevent passage through that little middle area. And then we have the default plant that's to the right of the nest. This is the more aggressive plant people like to use, but you can see it from rafters, which is the benefit. And for this one, stand tucked into the left of the threshold on the right side from the ramp entrance to A main. And from there, aim up to the far right corner of the crown just above your attacker's side nest. From there, a basic throw lands the molly perfectly on the rope, which covers the entire plant location and you have nothing to worry about. But whenever it drops, be sure to peek because you can see that area whenever it's going down. Now, let's move on to B site, where once again, the Nano Swarm lineups are a little bit more difficult to find. And the default plant location for B site is anywhere on this closest corner of the plant area that attackers can reach because Sage is going to wall it off and it's so difficult to plant anywhere else. But for your lineup, drop back to the boxes outside of the cargo box in A main and look straight up to the generator above you. There's an area on the bottom edge of this generator that has a dented corner and right where that line goes from being straight to crooked is exactly where you want your cursor to be. And a default left click, once again, lands perfectly on default to stop the defuse, even though it does take a little bit of time to land. And finally, we have Breeze. Where Killjoy's win percentage is exactly the same overall as the other maps, but her pick percentage is far, far lower, so she is actually very underrated on this map. And for A side, there are two plants that you're going to be using. The first is on attacker side of the water, right in front of the pillar, if you feel safe enough to plant there, or tucked in on the right side of the pillar for that little bit extra protection. And for both of these lineups, we're going to be throwing them from the same spot. First, take yourself to the back right corner of the wood walkway closest to the rope. From here, you're going to aim right where the sheet metal above you overlaps with the circular water container. Jump and left click from there to land your molly for tucked right. And simply move your cursor up from there to be in line with the tallest leaf on the right side that you can see. And jump throw to drop that Nana Swarm right onto the plant location for T side of water. And for B side, there is one basic plant location tucked on the back side of pillar away from CT and tunnel. And the choice is whether you want to approach after the Nano Swarms go away from elbow or from window. To peek from window, stand on the closest corner of the wood plank right outside of the stairs. Aim at the top left of the standalone brick above you and move your cursor vertically until you're in line with the top of the rest of the wall on the right. And then just jump throw to drop that molly right onto the bomb plant location. And for the elbow walk up, stand tucked right beside the crab cage outside of elbow. And aim the farthest left portion of the right HUD thread once again at the farthest left leaf that hangs down the lowest on the kudzu coming off the wall. From there, once again, just jump throw and you have a perfect nano swarm that drops in and stops the post plant on B side of Breeze. Also, don't forget, we have a ton of Killjoy guides and Smurf commentaries from Radiant players on our website. So if you want to improve, be sure to stop by skillcapped.com for that exclusive content. But what do you guys think about Killjoy in the current meta? And do you think she's being underused and ranked when she's must pick a lot of times in pro play? Let us know in the comments down below. And while you're down there, make sure to hit that subscribe button and turn those notification bells on because we here at Skillcapped have a ton more comprehensive premium guides coming your way that you're going to want to stay up to date with so you can stay ahead of the pack. And as always, I want to thank you for spending this little bit of your day with us. And I'm Notorious Dub, signing off.